Good morning, my name is Anu Sharma and I'm a managing director here at the NASDAQ stock market. I'm pleased to welcome Portraits of Hope and its co-founders, Ed Massey and Bernie Massey, as well as other distinguished guests here to NASDAQ. We are delighted to have you all here to ring the uh, NASDAQ opening bell. In 1995, Ed and Bernie founded Portraits of Hope, utilizing visual imagery to develop projects of social consequence. Developed initially as a creative therapy program for seriously ill and physically disabled children, the nonprofit program has since expanded to include a wide array of children and adults who participate with their schools, hospitals, and community programs. These projects have involved everything from blimps and buildings to airplanes and NASCAR race cars. More than just a public art, Portraits of Hope leads civics lessons in which school children identify contemporary issues that matter to them and discuss how they can create change in their communities. Garden in Transit in New York and Air Traffic Control Tower in Long Beach, California are current Portraits of Hope projects. Garden in Transit may be the most ambitious community collaboration and public art project in New York, his, uh, New York City history. In just over a year, more than 23,000 children and volunteers from across New York have participated in painting and educating sessions, resulting in thousands of flowers that are now being displayed on Taxi Citywide. From September to December 2007, their artwork is transforming New York City as the iconic yellow taxi becomes a mobile artistic canvas, or a garden in transit. Ed and Bernie, I'd like to congratulate you and the entire Portraits of Hope organization Please join me in welcoming the Portraits of Hope co-founders, Ed and Bernie Massey. Well, thank you to everyone at NASDAQ. We are delighted to be here. It's been an exciting 14 months. The streets of New York City have become very colorful thanks to the 23,000 children in schools and hospitals who have participated in this program. Uh, coinciding with the 100th anniversary of the New York City taxi cab called uh, Taxi 7, which happens to be uh, seven years, how many years it took us to actually get the approval for the project. So uh, we are extremely delighted. It's been a, a long time in the making. Uh, we have a fabulous team. Uh, it's, uh, it's been great. New York actually beat California. We had two uh, parallel projects running side by side over the last 14 months. Uh, the Long Beach Air Traffic Control Tower for, uh, out in Long Beach. Uh, uh, both projects were approved at the same time. We were uh, hustling on both of them, and it's been just incredibly rewarding on both coasts. So uh, I want to, uh, first of all, thank Mayor Bloomberg, of course, for approving this project, having the courage to say, OK, let's see what the children of New York City are able to do uh, for our New York City taxis. And I think everyone would uh, be unanimous in saying it looks fantastic. Uh, only time it's going to happen in our lifetime. So uh, hopefully people from all over will be able to enjoy it. Uh, if not uh, directly, then, uh, then uh, through photographs and the media and so forth. Um, I want to, uh, of course, uh, recognize some of the people that have helped uh, make this uh, program possible. So uh, Helen and Peter Bing, Vornado, uh, Empire Blue Cross Blue Shield, MACTAC, and many others. Sponsor a taxi. Go to our website. You have an opportunity to uh, get some more of these uh, children's panels on the taxis. In really a short period of time, we've already covered about 40% of the taxi fleet. So we're very excited by that. We have enough panels to cover all of them here in New York City. And then hopefully in Long Beach, we'll be seeing the air traffic control uh, tower. Senator Boxer is working with the FAA to uh, uh, get that date uh, going for us. And uh, we're very excited by that as well. Um, finally, I want to say that uh, you know, we've been contacted by different countries now to do projects. And uh, we're, ready, we're ready to get going on that. Our next big initiative we hope to do is a project in space. Uh, as a way to promote science education in schools throughout the country and throughout the world and get some of the kids' artworks uh, up in the heavens. Now uh, I'll just uh, take a moment to uh, introduce really the person who conceived the idea to transform the New York City taxi fleet and turn it into a mobile canvas, uh, my brother and also the co-founder of Portraits of Hope, uh, Ed Massey. Thank you all. First of all, of course, we'd like to thank NASDAQ uh, for giving us this incredible honor. This is really magnificent. For the thousands upon thousands of children in the New York metropolitan area and stemming all the way from California where children have worked in schools and after school programs and children's hospitals, really doing the unimaginable. As the city streets begin to change and transform into this vibrant array of colors, all done by a lot of love and passion from children for the whole country to see and globally 
for people, government officials, tourists, business leaders, just to see the magnificence that kids can do. And we have a wonderful, wonderful team of Portraits of Hope individuals, young men and women, uh, volunteers as well, everything from the New York Cares, incredible personnel who help every day working with the kids. When we travel into hospitals, we've designed special brushes that are for children to be able to manipulate a brush with strawberry flavor for their mouths, for those with limited mobility, telescope paint brushes, shoe brushes. We like to be always all inclusive, and this is a reminder for the world to see that kids can do the unimaginable. This is really kid power, and we're so excited that the city streets from uptown to downtown, from the east side to the west side, will be a constant reminder of every precious child who participated in the magnificent. And from here nationally to global initiatives, we're hoping that corporations and foundations, individuals who'd like to be involved, to get involved now with Portraits of Hope. We're so thrilled and excited, and please enjoy the city streets of New York. Thank you very much. And this is Starting Bell Live from New York. I'm Betty Lou. NASDAQ market side on a Friday. All eyes on the markets. About to hit that opening bell in a moment. <laughs> That's the opening bell for this Friday, October 19th. Opening the NASDAQ, representatives from Portraits of Hope. Thousands of New York yellow cabs have become mobile museums displaying artwork of children from across New York City.